Hey YouTubers, this is Alrighty Then with today's uh, monthly installment of videos. It's a portable toilet for under 15 bucks. It uses a about a 10 to $9 toilet uh, lid that I bought at Home Depot as well as the t Home Depot bucket with a, uh, and that also comes with the lid, so that when you're done pooping, you can close it up, and the next time you get to some place, you can throw it away, you can take off the lid, dump it out, and close it, and that way you don't have to do the stink. But anyway, I'm gonna show you how I did it. It's my portable toilet made with a regular toilet lid and a Home Depot bucket for about 15 bucks. So I took a piece of leftover plywood that I had from my son's project. So this is just a piece of leftover half inch. Here's the toilet bowl lid. There's my Home Depot bucket with its lid. So I pretty much took the lid that came <clears throat> from Home Depot and I placed it on top of my uh, plywood. I traced out the outside. I opened the lid, I traced out the hole. And then this is what I came up with. So this is I cut this out of that plywood. I made the inner diameter a little bigger than the actual seat so that when you poop, poop wouldn't get on the chair. So it's nice and safe. But it's going to mount to that piece of wood, which is then going to lay right on top of this bucket. So that's going to go here. Oh, and I also cut out this so that when you're when you're ready, you can kind of carry it so that you don't have to touch the seat. <clears throat> so that's going to go like this. The lid is going to go right on top. Right? And there you have it. So the only thing I have left to do is, on the bottom of this, I'm going to put... Alright, so in order for the lid to sit on top of the bucket, and not slide everywhere, what I'm going to do is I am going to put three of these little pegs to kind of hold it in place and keep it from falling out. Initially I had thought of making, taking the bucket out and making like a little tripod with legs and just having the bag there, but let me tell you, the last thing you want to do is uh, cough or sneeze while you're on the pot and have this thing fall and you end up sitting right on top of you know what that's not a pretty thing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these little pieces of wood here I'm just gonna make sure that it doesn't go any further than that so it stops right there and I'm gonna go ahead and clamp that in place So now that's going to stop the forward movement. And now I'm going to put two on the edges here to keep it from sliding the other way. And again, most of this stuff is just scraps that you have in the in the house or in your that you know leftover project scraps. <clears throat> Get that nice and tight. And the next one, let me make sure I'm kind of doing it as centered as possible. So for 15 bucks, guys, this is all it costs. $15. <clears throat> so, see, it comes off. You've got your stoppers right there. So it, it's not going to slide on and off the bucket. So I like the way they are right now. So I'm going to go ahead and staple them in, but hold on a second. Safety first, guys. Always wear your eye protection when you are using these uh, air nailers. And watch your hands, too. Don't keep your hand back there. So that's in there. That's a nice. Uh, here goes the other one. And last one.
Alrighty. Okay. So now the lid is not going to go anywhere. It's there. It's secure. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a plastic bag, like a 13 gallon plastic bag and place it in, you know, inside with the edges overflow, with, you know, with the edges coming over. You're going to take this, put it on top of that. You're going to take your lid, put it here, and I'm going to go ahead and mount it right now. Here's my hardware. Let's get this bad boy going. Put that in there. That goes in there. So the the bucket, when you're not using it for the crapper, you can use it to haul, you know, other things. I was gonna say water, but maybe not drinking water. You might not want to carry drinking water in what you're gonna poop in, even though you're using a plastic bag on the outside of it. Just wouldn't be prudent, you know. All right, that one's in there, nice and tight. This one's in there nice and tight, or it will be. There we go, nice and tight. So, here's my portable toilet. So this is going to go in the truck. It's got a pretty slim profile. Anything like this that you buy online or at the store is going to cost you, for the basic one, is about $25. So for 15 bucks, you've got one that you can use, and the buckets are very sturdy. So here it is with the lid. Let's see how, how that feels. Somebody give me a magazine quick. Well, as you can see, it's, it's the perfect height. You've got good floor, you know, it kind of gets everything at the right angle for you. Ready to go. Um, and that's it. So when you're done, you close it up, carry it by the handle, take it to where you gotta go, take the lid, close it up, carry and discard later on. So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, tell all your friends, and keep watching. Good luck to you. Happy camping.